wanted. Nobody likes to lose, but uh, I know you're proud of the effort tonight and the way that the kids competed. Exactly, especially after the last game. Um, they kind of had a, a team meeting among themselves because they knew the things that they were doing uh, wasn't up to par, especially up to their potential and their talent. Um, we got out there and we know we did some things right tonight, a lot of things, and extremely proud with them, win or lose. We always come put our arms around them and rally them to, to be the best person they possibly can be. But that's going to lead to wins. Coach, talk about going in at halftime and that last two or three minutes of this first half that was making a difference. Exactly. Um, at 351, we started talking about time situation school. Um, down three at 351, we talked about valuing the ball. How? You know, now it's those four minute games that we play, we play in practice. Now it's you're being tight with every catch. It's now it's that you opening up and getting your foot across to catch and secure every ball. Now it's just sit and hold every screen and every post up. And we talked about doing those things and we did those things some of the time, but it were crucial points where um, we, we didn't execute like we needed to and we got switches and things like that. And, you know, we needed to play basketball instead of trying to run a play at some times. Talk about the second half, especially scoring wise. You only, that was only a two-plus uh, point difference between the two teams in the second half. What was it emphasized at halftime to get them to understand to win, you, you've got to not only just make a, sp a stop, but, but there's other little things and all you got to do to, to get you there. At halftime, we talked about defending, contesting every shot, rebounding the basketball, and attacking the rim. And, and that's what we wanted to do the entire second half. Um, we knew we could get them in the bonus. We were on the, on the street making free throws. I think we shot over 80 percent tonight. Uh, and we wanted to get there 25 times. So we talked about just playing down here to the rim and, and wanting to get there. But it's had to start on the defensive end, contesting, um, defending, making sure uh, number four and 24 to contest the shot. Because they're good players, and they're going to get some shots off. But we didn't secure those rebounds like we needed to. And uh, they had a chance to come up with second chance points. And that's the thing that hurt us down the stretch. The other thing I, uh, I saw that you all shot 42 percent from the field, that was making that's that was that's a known thing, you know, mm -hmm. making good decisions to make a good shot. Exactly, exactly, and you know we talked about it a lot. Um, uh, this group here, they want to do what you say so much that they forget to play basketball. You know, we have a, a matchup where Tyler has a guard on in the post, and we call a play, but again. She's 6'2", and she got a 5'8 player on her, so let's get her the ball, but they'll pull it out and they want to run the play. And it's those kind of things. And, and, and one end, you want to be upset, and the other end, they're trying to do exactly what you ask them to do. So it's 50-50 it's, it's on that one. At what point during the, the second half, going toward the end, that the point was coming across that, you know, you got to finish with what you started? You know, I think it was somewhere around the, the eight minute mark, excuse me, the, the 12 minute mark, when we talk about um, at that media timeout, you know, you're a special individual and you have to understand that and you have something special inside of you and you can go to that and it can push you through no matter what. And we talked about pushing that button, we talked about our why because, you know, at some point you get tired, but the person that you're doing this for, you know, other than yourself, should be able to help you and push you through. And that's what we talked about at that 12 minute mark. And that's the thing I thought was kind of helped us push through defensively, give us a little bit more energy, and everybody started to rally so we can, we can continue to play a good game. Oh, and I, didn't, I missed the last game, but I saw Lili and, and uh, uh, Jessica was well, on the floor tonight. It was a good thing. Yes. Yes. Yeah, um, Jess, uh, we still got to, I don't know, she go in and out of being aggressive as we want her to be, um, especially at the beginning of the game. Uh, get the ball in the middle and she wanted to pass and we wanted her to attack there and be able to distribute where, you know, down to a title on the low block. And Lily, uh, uh, not shooting it particularly well, but always being a leader, always being an inspirational player for her, willing to do the, girl, the dirty work and guard the best player and, and things like that. And um, The time's going to come when she's going to make shots again and, and all of them. That's all I have, Coach. You got anything else to add to you know, the one thing I just want to say is, you know, the, the group is, is really working hard, you know, and it's, it's something when you talk about trying to rebuild the culture and, and get the mentality going for the type of players in the program you want. And a lot of people don't think that we can do it with the players that's here, but we can.
and we will not stop trying until we get it done. That's the one thing that you can bet every single day. And they're going to come in. They're getting all the extra shots up. Uh, they're doing everything they need to do in study hall, classes, on the road. And just times where they're not confident enough. But, again, we will continue to work and we'll get better and we'll compete every time. And when the, when the W start to line up, you know, everybody else better look out. Coach, will you talk a little bit about the crowd tonight that came because of National Girls and Women in Sports Day and also Cougs for the Cure? Exactly. You know, when you walk in and you see all the pink, first of all, and you know you can just rally your hands around that because that fight is continuing to go no matter what. You know, you're fighting for that cure for cancer. Um, just seeing everybody support that. And then with all the young ladies in the, in the gym today, I mean, um, from all different sports, nationalities, and everything, and everybody's on that same program because, you know, it's invaluable that you have women and girls be the best person they could possibly be each and every day. And empowering them to do that is something that we really, really live for every day. Got anything else for Coach? That's it. Thank you, sir. Got it.